We're now ready to go to MTS mode. So foot fully engaged on your clutch. Start your engine. Okay, foot still fully engaged on the clutch. Select your MTS mode using your pump switch. Note, there's still a green light showing on the LED that tells you that it's still in drive mode. It won't switch over until we hit the drive suck. So we'll turn the key switch to one. The drive suck, turn the switch over to suck. Select eighth gear. Now note, the red light has come on, so you're now engaged in PTO mode. It's eighth gear low. Gently bring up your clutch to make sure you engage quickly. We are now in a position to deploy the power to operation. Please note, you do not need to engage the fans. We are now going to lift the power arm from its transit position by moving the joystick down. We are now going to swing the power arm out. To do this, you move the joystick to your left. Now we're going to deploy the second ram segment by using the joystick to our right, pulling it down. To deploy the final segment, we'll take the joystick to the right to add the additional tooling. Position two, position directly underneath the power arm female flange. So they need to gently lower the power arm onto the flange. Please note, keep your hands well clear of the nip point between the two flanges when they meet. The power arm and the suction tube are fixed together using a fast fixation clamp. Secured using a retaining pin. Going to do the tipping operation. To achieve this, you need to select your power arm, press reset, bring your armour out to 90 degrees. So it needs to swing out to 90 degrees to avoid hose damage caused by twisting when the lid is open. Please note the sensor the hydraulic arm it must be at 90 degrees if it isn't then it will prevent you from tipping we'll now select the tipping mode to bring down the stabilizers reset deploy stabilizers with the joystick down Stabilizers are deployed. We're now in a position to open the lid by using the joystick to the right. Go. Cool. With the lid now open fully, we're now in a position to tip the tank by selecting the joystick again to the right.
weapon has been achieved. To put the container back into its transit position, select the joystick to the left, right side. Once the container has been repositioned, you're now ready to shut the lid simply by using the left joystick, pulling it to your left. With the lid now shut, the stabilizers need to be uh, lifted. To do this, use your left joystick, simply push it up. After the stabiliser has been retracted, you are now in a position to stow away the power arm in its transit position. To achieve this, select the icon for your power arm, press reset, simply stow it away. After the power arm is returned to its transit position, you're now in a position to move on to your next job. Simply shut the machine down. Using the now everything's back in its transport position, you're now ready to drive away. You need to disengage your MTS mode. To do this, Turn the truck on, engage your clutch fully to the ground, turn your pump off, you'll see that come off on your dashboard, disengage your gear to neutral, make sure you hit the neutral switch, turn your suck back to drive on your middle switch, you notice it's still on red diesel, goes back to green which is your drive mode, turn your key switch back to zero. You are now ready to drive off to your next